I'm Gary Rockman with uh, Blue Sky Energy. This building is so special because it's a one-of-a-kind building. It tackles the issues of climate change, meaning uh, it consumes zero energy and zero water. My name is Amber Rashane. I am a senior design manager here at the City of Santa Monica, and I'm the project manager for City Hall East, uh, formerly known as City Services Building, and it will be the world's first stringent green building certification, a municipal building that meets the living building challenge. For the challenge, there are seven petals, it's based on a flower, and 21 imperatives, and you have to achieve all of them. The buildings have to be net zero energy or net positive, net zero water or net positive, uh, consume their own waste, they have to be on livable sites that are human powered, and the materials that you use in the building have to take out the 20 worst in class chemicals in the building industry. And so the renewables on this project are really exciting. After going through those first two steps, uh, the building itself, the roof is covered with solar panels, right? We've reduced our locations of our mechanical equipment to two very small mechanical wells so that the whole surface of the roof really can be uh, dedicated to photovoltaic and power generation. We used SunPower 360 watts and SunPower 460 watts because of the form factor of what we needed to use for this building. Our tolerance on the roof is one eighth of an inch. Our tolerance for our solar, our PV arrays are three sixteenths of an inch. You can now see the results. So not only is the, the roof of this building covered with photovoltaics, we have um, about 15 parking stalls that are for EVs and carpool and vanpool and, and things of that, where we have a solar support structure or a PV canopy. And those are also covered with PVs. If you take a look at the, the TPO roof around it, that is a collection basin to meet the building's water requirements. And all that water is basically going to flow down into the cistern and eventually be used as potable water for the building. The PV canopies in the parking lot, those also have gaskets as well as gutters to collect water again to increase the viability of the water pedal. So all that water off of the PV arrays is also being collected and going into the cistern. So to generate all the power necessary for this building between those two systems, we're able to achieve that net zero uh, energy. I came to the city to work on this project because I was so excited about being able to work on a living building. And I, one of the nicest parts that I hadn't anticipated was the way that this building has brought teams together is, right, in a lot of building projects, architects, owners, contractors, it can be very contentious. And this project, because of the level of communication and dedication, everybody on the team knew what the goal was for Living Building Challenge and knew that there were pitfalls and that we had to over communicate and we had to talk very frequently about things that you probably would not even think that you needed to on a regular project. But this project has really brought a community together that has just been exemplary and I couldn't, couldn't have hoped for a better, better group of people to bring this building into fruition. You know, we loved working on this project. It was difficult at times, but at the end, amazing. It worked, uh, and it was a team effort, and at Blue Sky, my employees, they all wanted to work on the project. They wanted to be part of the solution. We're very fortunate. We fell uh, as far as to be involved in the first municipal building in the United States to get the Living Building Challenge certificate. It's amazing. It's incredible. And uh, we, we couldn't be, uh, I would say, we feel very humbled to be able to be a part of this. At Blue Sky Energy, we believe, and every employee believes this, that we're saving the world one project at a time.